Kumlen and Ablak Gemara, Sunday morning, first day of Slichas, of Beis El. We're on the countdown to Rosh Hashanah. So we middle in the middle of learning the subject of Machlekes of Rabbi Shmuel, if you um, and and Rabbi's interpretation of Rabbi Shmuel, he wants to say that they're not arguing in all cases. In other words, they're only arguing in a case where. Uh, there was one uh, wife, but like two women. In this case where you got engaged with this woman, you made it conditional that there should be no vows. Then you divorced her, and then you got engaged with her a second time. So how do we interpret the second time? He didn't mention a word. So according to that, if he didn't mention a, a word, that means you change your mind. And now, um, if it doesn't work out, you have to give her a divorce. According to Shmuel, it's a continuation of before, and you assume that she, you know, uh, that she uh, knew that. And you're not concerned about Bia's news because it doesn't enter your mind. But in the case where they, where it's the same wife, you, by engagement, you made the condition that when you came to the marriage, you didn't mention it again. Everybody will agree that you're assuming that she knows the condition and she thinks that she meets the condition. And therefore, if it turns out to be it doesn't, you don't need to get because the marriage is never a marriage. Okay, that's what you learned. Abai asked a number of questions. Says the Gibbana now, more than that, I'm Dalit Ahmed Aleph. About seven lines on the top. Amr Rab Acha by Yaakov. Rab Acha, the son of Yaakov, said in the name of Rabbi Yechon, Amr Rabbi Yechon, that basically agreeing with Rabbi's understanding. It goes as follows. Hamakadish of tonight, if somebody gets a woman engaged conditionally, Ubo, but afterwards they had relations and didn't bring it up again. Divre Hakel, since a person does not want Bilas Nus, he definitely thought, <clears throat> does regardless, now that we're consummating the marriage, this is them doing the shame Kedusha. Without any conditions, ain't a second get. You don't need to get. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So if it's the same wife, sorry, 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 I made a mistake. We're talking about if it's the same wife. Rabbi Yechonah said, then everyone agrees that even though you didn't bring it up again by the bila, you're assuming you told already by the engagement. Why mention it again? You're assuming that she thinks that, that she agrees that she has no nadarim. It turns out to be she does. Then the whole thing's a mekar toss. That was exactly like Rabbi said. And in this case, there's no argument. Rabbi Shmuel. Everyone agrees. So his nephew, Esau, Rav Acha Berei de Ravika, so Rav Acha, the son of Ravika, who was Barachte, the son of his sister, of, um, of Rav Acha Bayakiv, turned around to him and said, I'm going to ask you a question. It says in a, it says in a Braiser, Chalitza Mutas, if you trick someone in giving into Chalitza, Kshayda, still a valid Chalitza. What, what exactly is a trick? What did you do? Eze, Chalitza Mutas, what exactly did you do? I'm going to explain what you said. Kosha Oymelo, you said to this guy, you could try to convince him to give a Chalitza. He said to her, Chalitza, he wanted to marry her, she didn't. So we say to him, Chalitza, give her Chalitza, Ubekach Achat Kainza. That's the way you marry her. So you tricked him. And and, and therefore, Emre Shlach says, it's good enough. The fact is, he gave her Chalitza, she's free. I hold bench in this cabin. Forget about the tricky. Even if you want intend to marry her, but both parties didn't have that in mind. Bench in this cabin. Who will in this cabin? He he had a mind and she didn't. Bench in this cabin. He was cabin. Or she had a mind and he didn't. Chalitza subsul. They gave her chalitza. It's possible. Ad she is cabin name. They both have to have an intention. So madok I hold that they both have to have kavana. In this case here, we we tricked him. Forget about kavana. He doesn't even think that he's doing a chalitza. He thinks he's getting married. Surely there's nothing. To talk about it's not kosher. How can the bride say it's kosher? But I don't know how you tell me it's kosher. Ella says, What do you mean trick? Trick means you made a tonight and, and you never filled it tonight. But in this case, it doesn't matter. You tricked him into giving the chalitza. Kosher Emila, you tell him, Look, chalitza, give her chalitza. I'm an ash, she'll give you 200 coins. So he believed that and he went ahead and based on that, he gave her chalitza. Alma, we see Kim Maisa, we see since he did a Maisa, he's Michael the Tanai. So, what do we see from that story there? That it's a valid Chalitza. Now, why should it be a valid Chalitza? Because since he did the act of giving Chalitza, we say that all preconditions fall away. So, Hachanami, so the same thing should be over here. If a man got engaged with a woman and said, on the condition that they are to no to no Gnodorim, and then they go ahead and they have relations, they have Bila, Lachaya, the act of Bila should cancel, should be Michael. All the previous, um, you know, uh, uh, contingencies that he put in place. So I'm disagreeing with you, Rabbi Echelen. I'm disagreeing with uh, with the Rabbi that everyone agrees. And in this case, uh, it's a continuation of before, and the conditions will all remain intact. No, they should all fall away. The moment they might just by chalitza, chalitza all the time fall away. Keep the ball. Once they had relations, he's moichel the tonight. Amalei. So he said to his nephew, Barbe Rab, the student of Yeshiva. Shapik Do you think what you said is right? Mechdi. 
You're totally wrong. Let me explain to you why the chalitza is valid, even though the tanai wasn't kept. Nothing to do with you. Rabbi Yechid is right. Rabbi is right that if you make conditions by the engagement, you didn't repeat it again by the bila. You, the conditions are still intact. And if you don't meet the conditions, the whole marriage is a mecca toss. However, uh, you want to know why by chalitza the, the tanai don't matter? I'll explain to you why. Listen, where did we learn that the whole tonight, the whole idea of tonight, if you think about it, it's very difficult to understand. I'm doing something, but I make it, I make a condition. The condition are verbal. How do words break an action? We always know that action is the most powerful thing because you, you brought it into the real world. Words are still, you know, can be just hyperbole. So you're telling me I did a mice and I, I tagged to it a t- condition, and if the condition isn't met, the mice falls apart. The condition was said in words. How can words break a mice? We have to learn from the Torah. On our own, conditions wouldn't be able to do that. And where do we learn from the Torah? From the story of the two and a half Shvatim. Because Moshe Rabbeinu sent Yeshua as a shleach, and he said, you're going to go fight Netus Ro. And when do you get Eber Yarden provided that you go and fight on behalf of the Eden, so on and so forth. But if you don't, then so on and so forth. And we learn a number of dinim from that. We learn you need a concept, and we learn more about another Masechus. Uh, we, um, and we also already had a little bit before. So, tonight, Kofl. We need a double tonight. You know, if you do this, this is what's going to happen. But if you don't do this, this is what's going to happen. You have to spell it out. You need tonight, Koyin Lamaisa. First, you have to mention the tonight before you do the Maisa. We have to follow what they did over there. And the tonight, Koyin Lamaisa is, you know, the words are there, is, is like the groundwork. And the Maisa comes on top of that. That's why the words can break the Maisa. And you need the tonight, the Maisa, that the tonight and the Maisa should both be on the same thing. And we're now we're learning another rule. And we, we had this another, and the rule is, that, that, that in order, to, if you should have the, this is how Tracy explains, if you should have the capacity with words to break your mice, you, also, you have to own it. And how, what's the, the asset test if you own something? If you're able to appoint a shliach, a proxy, and give that person over your entire um, um, power. If you're able to give over the power of somebody else, that means you totally own it, and therefore you can also break it with words. But if you cannot transmit it to a, to a shliach, you cannot relay it over the shliach, that should represent you, then you don't really own it. If you don't really own it, nor can you break it just with words. When it comes to chalitza, you cannot send a shliach. The Torah says part of the chalitza is you have to check the shoe and put it on his foot. You can only make a shliach when it comes to an act, give, take. But uh, a shliach, you know, you can't have a shliach put on film on your hand and have me mind if I did it. Because it's like you put on film, but, I'm, but uh, it's like I put on film because the act is like I'm doing it, but on your hand. Because things which are natural, automatic, cannot be uh, passed on. So therefore, the more he says like this, that was a tonight was made to a shliach. Who was a shliach? Yeshua. Moshe Rabbeinu gave over to you. Yeshua, I want you to take over and take this role and you and these two and a half will work for you. Kihasam, like over there, have it tonight, tonight. Then you have your own it. Your words is a tonight is a valid tonight. You can break it. The last will give a shliach, Kihasam, but if you cannot appoint a shliach, then we'll have it tonight. Now, now, so come to Chalitza, since you cannot give it over to a shliach, nor can you make it tonight. And that's why the $200 doesn't bother us. Nothing to do with the fact that there's moichul the tonight. The tonight is meaningless. The tonight cannot break the mice. Says the Gemara, that's a question. What about Bia? When it comes to relations, and Bia, Bia is an act that nobody, you can't have someone else have, you can have someone else give a ring to you, to this girl, to, on my behalf, and get her engaged to me. But you can't have someone else have Bia with her, and that should, and have me in mind as if she's engaged to me. Of course you can't do that, because you need her goof. Anything to do with the goof, with the chamele, that the Tracer Reed explains, it cannot be a shliach for. So the chayde, but be it, if you can have a shliach, he has them, and yet to have it tonight, we learned that you make tonight as well, we learn you make time as well when it comes to uh, when it comes to beer, <clears throat> um, because we said before just yesterday, if a person says I'm going to have beer with you on the condition that your father agrees, and we had one opinion that says that the father doesn't agree, nothing happened. So we see that what you mean by you can have, and you can't have a shliach there. So you know, that's an exception. Why is that? We're going to learn in later on in Gitten and so on, where we say, So she left you, that's Gitten, and we got married to somebody else, Ishachar. So the Yotz of Ahoysa, we can, and also we compare all the Havoyas to each other. And we say that the three methods, which is Kesesh Tarbi, are all similar to each other. And you need and so on. And since a tanai helps when it comes to money, so therefore we say it also helps when it comes to star, it also helps when it comes to beer. And that's why it's, it's you know, the Achreinim have a big discussion in Shukhadar, where it's in the bubble, it is. 
how can you make, you know, it says that you should make it tonight. You say Krishna in the morning. You don't know if you'll, you'll be able to say Krishna and Davening properly. The best ideal place is Krishna is by Davening because you have brachas before, brachas after. But you don't know if you'll make it within the, the time. Like right now, the time is 9.16. By 9.16, you have to say Krishna. So what you they would do is you say Krishna before then in the morning and you have in mind, if I will, will not make Krishna and Davening on time, this should be my Krishna. But if I do make Krishna on time, I'm just reading really tighter. It's not my Krishna. And they ask, how can you make it tonight? On, on something like that, like words, when we just learned that anything you cannot appoint a shliach, you cannot make it tonight. Unless somehow davening is, is totally different. Why is that? Because it's words versus words. In other words, maybe only over here, it's words versus a mice. A word cannot break a mice unless you learn exactly for Pnei God Meir Ruben. But over there, I'm saying words, and I'm saying other words tonight to break those words. I don't want the Krishna to be valid now, I want the Krishna later. And because it's words versus words, they're both on par. We don't need to learn from there. We don't need to follow the conditions that you have from there. And therefore, even though you cannot have a shleach, you can still break it because words can break words. That's the possibility of logic in that. We can learn in Gemara Kedushin that Vava Beis that Abai says, if you let's say a woman owes you hundred dollars, and you say to you, you know what? Don't worry about the hundred dollars that I gave you. According to Tracy, you actually have to spell out um, the hundred dollars that I gave you. According to Rashi, I just said the loan that I gave you. You are mekudish to me. So, uh, she's not mekudish. Now, why not? He just gave her hundred dollars. He didn't. The hundred dollars he lent her was a month ago. She raised, and the moment you gave it into her hand, it's her money. What are you giving her now? Nothing. You're just taking away the, but you don't have to pay me back. You didn't give her anything. It's only ha mekudish b'hanoas mechilas I say the pleasure that you have right now. That I am moichel you, and I want that pleasure to be worth money. It is because if she would have had to hire somebody to convince me to forego the loan, she would have to pay the guy a commission. So she she's getting money right now. She's making money, and that hanno, the money that she saved, I am giving her, and she's getting that right now. That's something else. Anyway, we'll learn about that in kedushin. So what happens in makaji milu, which is not about kedushin, but then ball, then they had relations. Questions of that be'ila was based on the kedushin, which is useless, or it's as if he, he knows that's, that's no good, and therefore right now he had a mind to be uh, to be mekadosh through bia. Or al tanai he made a condition with her, and then ubal, and then he had bila. Does that mean he dismisses the tanai and the bia now is the shame kedushin or not? The parchasha pruta we had yesterday, less than pruta, which is not valid kedushin or ball. Given hakol, everyone agrees tzichay men and get. In all these cases, because he had be'ila, this opinion says. You need to get. In other words, not like we said before. Here it says, if you boil on a tonight, we're assuming that you ignore. Even it's the same woman. We're ignoring everything we said before. Not like Rabbi said before. That you know, it's a continuation of before. If you did beer, it's a new thing, and therefore there's no tonight anymore. You didn't make any tonight. You got engaged properly, even though you made tonight before. He says, no, I'm going to agree with you only in one case. I'm going to agree with you by because everyone knows that was not really a condition. So therefore, if he had Bila later, he definitely had a mind that this should be for condition. Then you'll need to get. Other two, not everyone knows the halachas. And he might think that... Um, that becomes a tonight, he might think that she that she agrees and and she's uh, fulfilling the the, the the demands of my tonight, and therefore he just continues before he does have anything do things in mind, and and the same thing with and Milva, you have to be tamachachem, you have to be tamachachem. In fact, that was we can learn in the Sanhedrin. That's not, that was the argument of, of Shoal and David, a certain nuance about Rakadish, Kadish Milva and Pruta. So that didn't mean it's complex. Omar of Kahana Mashmedula, another Paisi of Kahana says, Name Ula, Hamakadish out tonight. So I make a condition on the condition Ubal and Dibila, Tsrikhe Menegad, not like Rabba and Abyechan who said that there's a continuation of, of before, and therefore, if you know, if, if she doesn't meet the tonight, the whole thing is based on an error. No, he says the moment she did Bia, even the same woman, the moment you did Bia. We're saying that you did the same the condition and you need to get. So you might like this one happened below your will get exactly this one happened, and the Khamli could not get her out without a get. And the problem is once you get a divorce, she can no longer marry a Koyan and so on. Nor can she marry his relatives anymore. But if you undo, if you unravel the condition of never married, she can, tomorrow she, she can marry this guy's brother. Lafuki my Tana, this comes to disagree with the following Tana. It says in Pasik regarding a site, it says, it, it says, um, uh, if she wasn't forced, as soon as she wasn't forced, she was willing to participate in adultery, then she's forbidden to her husband. 
and the Baal and the Boyle, and to the person and to the adulterer. Oh, nitvusa, but if she was forced into it, then we'll tell her she can go back to husband. Because it says vehi and she and me is coming to add, there's another law, which is the yetrachachet, there's another law, even though that she wasn't uh, taken in, in, uh, you know, by force, Mutelis, she's still permitted to go back to her husband. How is that possible? In a case with the Kedushim, the whole Kedushim was built on a mistake. In other words, he made it tonight, and so on and so forth. And she did not meet the tonight, and they had relations after that. And um, and the Shmuel says, we'll say it's, well, he could thinks that, she met it tonight, so he didn't have anything specific in mind. He continued along the same way that the Kedushin is based on the tonight. I feel the Bonamogo said, you know, they lived together for a few uh, for a while, for um, and she already has a, a child on her shoulder from him. Nevertheless, when the, he finds out that in fact she didn't meet the tonight, that for example, she does make the door and she just kept it a secret, then Mam En is my Then she just walks out like we never married. In fact, she doesn't even have to do me, she just walks out, we're never married. So there's another case, and if in, in, in the interim she committed adultery to somebody else, nothing wrong because she wasn't a married woman. So we see different opinions. Tonabon and we learned an interesting machlek is whole. So let's say they made it tonight that she shouldn't have any nedorim, but she did. What she did was after they got married, whole she went or after they got engaged, she went eitzel chacham. She went to the chacham, a yachid mumche or three three people. He tira and he said he absolved her. How did he absolve her? One, one of the ways of doing it is this charote, but this pesach. Pesach means, had you known, now we're not talking about Neulet, some, br- some brand new situation that you had no way of anticipating, because then we, many parts can hold, you cannot do that. But you came over and said, had you realized that this would be the situation? Would you have made the net in the first place? And if she says, no, what are we doing? We're saying that the net was all based on an error. There was never a net in the first place. And so therefore, it's retrospective. So as if there was never a net. Ah, so therefore, even though they got they got married and and, and they turned out to be those notorious, but when she went to Chacham, she, she, she it, was, it was retroactive. That what she retroactively removed all the nadarim as if there was never nadarim. However, if he made a condition where there should be no movement, I don't want to have any defects, and turned out to be that she did have the defects. But after they got married, she went to a doctor, and healed her. The fact is, when we got married, you had movement, and therefore we never got married. I, tomorrow you fixed it up, it doesn't help. So what, 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 what's, what's the difference? Why by Chochem we say that if she went to Chochem after they got married, after they got, it's all right, or after they got engaged, and why by um, by a Reifa it doesn't help? It's very simple. Chochem, like is an Edemi Kori. A Chochem, we can learn about a Dara, and there's a difference between, actually that's an extra sector, the difference between a Chochem or a husband when he knows the Dara's wife which might be from now on, but a Chacham is retroactive. So he completely, because he uses the method of Pesach, which is, had you known, would you have done it? So he's, I can but doctor only does it from now on. Um, but but we looked at another Bryce, and now we're trying to reconcile the two Bryce. So this Bryce says that by a Chacham, it's a valid marriage, because as if there never was an edit. Else would be learned, it's a Chacham, she went to a Chacham, the Hitira, both of them ain't the Kadeshis. Even a Chacham is not a Kadeshis. What's going on here? How come Abra said, what are they arguing about? How come Abra said, by a Chacham, it is a Kadeshis? There says not. Omar Rabbi says, Rabbi, like Kashi. It's not a problem at all. Why? In fact, it's a Machlekes between Rameir and Rabbi Loza. What's this Rameir and what's this Rabbi Loza? Interesting. The Omar Rameir says, Adam writes a shit is Bazi Ishta. A person doesn't mind if his wife has to go from the best. Because if you go from the best, people find out and they find out that she has this uh, habit of making a dorm. She has a temper. I mean, why would you make a dorm? Usually when you get angry, you say, Oh, I don't want to see you or whatever it is. So, you know, and, and, and it's humiliating. But Rameir says people don't mind. They go to the, if they're going there for a good reason to fix things up, they don't mind. So if you don't mind, when he said to her, I don't have any dog, he included, I don't care, he said include as if to say, if you don't have a dog, I don't care, as long as you go to a chacha, and you undo it. So therefore, that's the, the first rise that says she is Mukadesh's. But Rabbalaz, how Rabbalaz, he says, the Omar, he said, Rabbalaz, who says, ain't other religious by the issue best. If he doesn't want his wife to go to bed, if he's humiliated, don't reflect bad on him as well. Look who's ending up marrying someone with a temper. So therefore, when he said to her initially, I don't want you to have any dharma, it didn't mean, but if you have, go to a rub. I don't want you to go to a rub either. I want to make sure you have known the dharma in the first instance. So therefore, that's the second branch that says it doesn't help going to a rub. Because when he made his condition, he didn't want you to go to a rub. 
And what's his Rabbi Lozer Lamei? Where do you find his Machlegit? My he's not. We learned Hamoisi es Ishtai Mishum Neder. If let's say a person divorced his wife because she made the dark. We tell him you should know that this is fine. Usually, uh, uh, if you're in Israel, you divorce your wife, and things and later you are sort of uh, appease each other. You can always take her back, but not in this case. And why is that not in this case? Because we are worried that um, there are two possible reasons. Think about it. One is called kilkula. Kilkula means that you can ruin their lives. How you can ruin their lives? Because if it's dinner that he can take her back, and then let's say um, she goes ahead, and uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, he, he, let's say he divorces her. He divorces her um, because, let's say, the rumors abounding about her that in her personal life that she has a relationship with somebody else. Or she hasn't, she made the darn, but she can go to Chacham and, and undo the nether. Or this rumor turned out to be it was above my so Somebody didn't like her, made it just concocted this whole story. It never happened. Meanwhile, she married somebody else, and the husband will say, Oh, if I would have known. That this rumor is not true. If I would have known that I she could have gone to a rabbi and the whole dorm, I never would have divorced her. And if he does that, he's challenging the entire divorce is basically based on false premises. And therefore, she's still married to him. And therefore, she had the right to marry the other guy, Shul Mimam Zayden. So therefore, we tell him up front, you should know that if you divorce her in these two instances, you can we can never take her back. You can never take her back. <clears throat> so that therefore this is final. So you can't cast any aspersions on her future life on her and on her children. Um, and and if you really like her, you better uh, reconsider. That's what we tell them. <clears throat> um, the, the another opinion is that no, it's like a penalty. We don't want to take it back because it's since, since the rumors abound, which generally the rumors probably there's some truth to it. Even if not 100 percent true, there's some truth to it. It's very promiscuous, flirtatious, and uh, the Dorim, It's not very. It's not really good for a relationship to have somebody constantly make vows and makes things very difficult. So therefore, we penalize her. You can never go back to your husband. These are two ways of learning. So, so it says in the Mishnah here, if you uh, divorce your wife because of Neder, never take it back. Mishum Shemra, if it's because there's a rumors about adultery, don't take it back. Like we just explained, either to Kula or because a class to her for behaving this way. Rabbi Yehuda says, <clears throat> no, Rabbi Yehuda says, when it comes to a Neder, I believe the main reason is it's a penalty to her because of her behavior. When do we penalize? And not because of um, this shash that he's going to come along and say, oh, I didn't know. Cool. We're not worried about Kukula. So he said like this. When is it, when is it, when do we penalize her? Is this behavior? If it's a nether that she makes in public, and if we learned, if you make a nether in public, so you cannot really ever annul the nether because you have to find every member of that public who knows the nether to be there to uh, annul, um, dissolve you from your nether. So a nether that you make in Rabim, then we penalize you. Because that's not, that's like very deliberate. It's not like, you know, the spur of the moment you got angry, made a negative, because that you can undo. This is, this cannot be undone. And this is deliberate. So only then we penalize her. Well, yes, if you tell the husband you can never take it back, penalty to her. Well, the other way that happens in privacy, we're on home. She made a negative. Yes, in fairness, you could take her back. That's him. Because he holds the main reason is because uh, it's a class to, to, to her. That mayor says, that mayor disagrees. He says, call negative. Any nether that you have to go, um, you know, we learned before that a husband can annul the wife's adorn, only the two conditions, according to some, according to others, even less. The nether is between him and her, so therefore it affects him. Or the volume of inu nefesh, self affliction, where she's harming herself. Both of those he can annul. But other than adorn, he has no right to mix it, but she can always go to a chacham and undo the nether. So kol nether, any nether, it's not beinoy lebeinoy, it's not in nether, it's one of the other nether, that's her personal nether. So the only way she can ever undo that is by going to a chacham, is lo yachzer. Um, he says, you should not take it back, because the whole, he said, the main, the main whole, like the first opinion, the main problem is kukula, and here there's kukula, right? Not everybody knows that, you know, that she can go to a chacham and undo the nether. He thinks that, you know, only in the dharma that he can undo, which is what counts, and other dharma he can't. And then let's say he divorces her because he can't take her, she's constantly making the dharma, even though it doesn't affect him personally, but he just can't stand it. And then she marries somebody else, and he'll go say, oh, I just found out that she could have gone to a chacham, and I would have known, and never divorced her, ruin her life. So therefore, Amir says, those in the dharma, that you that, that are outside of the purview of the husband, then she has to go to a chacham to be matanedet. You can never take her back because we have to tell her up front. This is it. It's final. But but then the daran that's between him and her, so he could have annulled it. And he didn't. 
Then he asks it. He can't say, oh, if I would have known. No, what? Everyone knows that, as, as, that you could be matter those in the Durham that affect you, you know, within 24 hours. That's it. Let's get the parentheses. Amr Abelazar, Abelazar says, Loi Asu Tzarich. I say, the other way around, I say that the husband cannot say, oh, if I would have known, I would have, uh, I wouldn't have divorced her because you don't want her to go to a rob. You think it's humiliating for yourself, it reflects on you. You don't want her to go to a rob. So you could say, oh, if I would have known. But what we do, I agree with you that we, if you go to a, uh, that you cannot take her back, but I hold you cannot take her back in both cases. And that is, Loi Asu Tzarich Faket. Ela Mipnei She'enu Tzarich. In a case where you don't need, um, <clears throat> you, uh, but, um, you don't need at all, um, uh, what do you call it, to go to a rub. Since in the case we don't need to go to a rub, I say that, you know, we still don't want him to take her back. So even in the case we do need a rub, we're going to ask her as well. My time with the rabbi, so I'm going to go through each one, explain the reason is, yeah, and what is, <clears throat> um, and, and what is that? He says all the way around. He says that men, this is what I believe, men don't know that they had the right to cancel their wife's door. Not everyone's a Tamil Chacham. And therefore, in the case where the Nadorim are between him and her, where you could have canceled it, there he can ruin her life. Because after he divorces her and she gets married, oh, I didn't know I could divorce her. No, if I would have known, I would never have divorced her. So in that case, we say it's final. And once we say it's final, by Loy Tzadik, you know what? By Tzadik, even, go, even though you have no right to go to a Chacham, I hold you don't go to a Chacham, but still, it's all us because we it's too difficult to make some mutter and some us. My time, Rabbi, what's for Rabbi Huda? So that's the brother made that we're talking about those two prices. What's this for Rabbi? What's this for Rabbi Huda? See if it says, what's the chilik, uh, you know, an, a ned that berabim you cannot break. How does you know a ned berabim you cannot break? Why not? <clears throat> says the Gemara, you know, knows, even if you get the 10 people together, it's found, you cannot break it. How do you know from the people of Givon, where they tricked the Eden and they made believe they masqueraded as some other nation? They came from outside of Israel. All the nations living in Israel, they told them that the Lord called the Shom, you have to destroy everybody. And they masquerade uh, as if they um, were for somewhere else. Well, he could be in Israel. The Eden did not hurt them at all, did not harm them at all. Why? Because they swore, the leaders, whatever, they swore to them that they won't, they won't destroy them. Because they swore to them, they couldn't undo that shua. Otherwise, they would have undone the shua, sorry, and false pretenses, undo the shua, and that's it. No. They didn't do that. So it proves that we do it in public. You can. What's considered public? The camera most public. He said in front of three people. That's what you call public. How do I know? Because it says by Azova, a woman who who uh, menstruated outside of a normal cycle. It says Yomim Rabim. Yomim, you know, Shnayim is two. And Rabim is one more. Three. Three days makes her Azova. Three consecutive days. We learn in neither of the places that it makes her Azova. And if we need seven clean days after that, so three is a Rabim. Rabitzchik says no. In this pasuk, it says we just said the CIA Ada, the leaders of the Ada, and we know that the Ada community is ten people. We know that from Meraglim. Rabbi Yehuda Masada, Ada Ksibu, and we know from Meraglim from Meraglim because Meraglim there were twelve Meraglim, and and two of them Yeshua and Kalu were on Moshe's side, and they just said to Moshe, and Moshe leads our Azais. Now, what these are terrible people here. Who are you talking about? The other ten uh, tribes. Rameis says. Uh, Ramey says, Kol neder should tzarech hakil chach. Ramey says, any neder. Now the Gemara will go back to explaining Ramey and Abelaza to explain the two prices. Ramey says, any neder that requires to go to a rav, lo yachzir. You tell the guy, you cannot take it back because otherwise you start messing with Say, oh, if I would only go to a rav, I would have never given her a get. Abelaza says, lo yachzir tzarech. No, if you had to go to a rav, it wouldn't bother me at all. Why not? Why didn't the bottom of blood? In fact, he said the only reason why, even if you have to go to Rav, we say it's final, because in the case where you don't have to go to Rav, for example, the husband could have, could have annulled the nether, those in the door between him and her or in your nephew, but he can argue, I didn't know. Had I known, I would never have done it. The mic, this is the argument. The best the mayor holds that a person doesn't mind if his wife ends up going to Bezin in order to fix things up. And Abelazah holds ain't other Rishon Bazei should bezin. Abelazah, the person does not want his wife to go to bezin and to figure, you know, because he finds it humiliating. Rava says, "I'll give you another explanation." These two brises, and that's as follows: Rava merhacha beisha chashuva askinin. You know what we're talking about here? One brise is talking about an ordinary woman, and one brise is talking about a very chashuva woman. If she's a very chashuva woman, she comes from a family. Chashuva woman means not just her, but the entire family comes from a very eminent family. So then. Even the person who says that, you know, yeah, I don't mind if my wife goes to a bezin, but over here, the Isha Chiruskin, he says, I don't want to give her a get. <clears throat> I don't want to uh, to give her a get. You know why? 
uh, you know, but I'm not going to be moichel. I don't want it to go to a rabbi. Um, I don't want it to be able to go to a rabbi. I don't want to um, to give her a get at all. <clears throat> I don't want a woman that um, that constantly makes a dorm. Why? I, I don't want it. It's, it's just too hard. I, I can just give her a divorce and end the whole thing. You know, the problem is, like, and, and I don't want to send to her every second day because that's not a life. And I, I can always give her a get. No, because if I give her a get, I can no longer marry her sister, her mother. And there's such an eminent family. I, you know, if, if this doesn't work out with her, I would love to marry his, uh, her sister. And the only way to do that is to, that if, if it doesn't work out with her, we were never married in the first place. So therefore, I don't want to have a get. I don't want the marriage to be a valid marriage at all. And don't run to a chacham that can sound life. It's, there's no other option because I always running to chacham is good as long as I know I have a backup plan. If it's still, you know, if it's too difficult, every second day got to go to chacham, I can always divorce her. But in this case, I can't. So that's the price that says that, that, there's, uh, that the whole marriage falls apart. The east, the east, because of that, only us with her relatives. So the mother, okay. So that's a, that's a tiny that we don't want to get because... I don't want to, to ask her if it doesn't work out on a sister. So she worked all the way around as well. Because if he if, if she receives a get, she cannot marry his brother. What happens if he's a Hosha family? So say for the Tony in the end where it says, Abel who shall But what about the other way around? <clears throat> um, he said to her, he promised her, I have no Nidharm. We're engaged, and I promise you, I have no Nidharm. I don't have any baggage or any whatever it is. That was a condition, but he put it on himself. And then he went to Chacham and he unraveled his Tanoim or Eitzorei for said Mekadeshes. In those cases, Mekadeshes. Now, why? At least the enemy If she's Mekadeshes, then it doesn't work out if he happens to have a Dorim and he runs to a Bezin all the time and she can't stand it. Um, the only option is divorce. But she'll say the same thing. I don't want a divorce. What happens if it doesn't work out? I want to marry his brother. And it won't be, and I can no longer marry his brother. So the same cheshman there, be cheshman that it shouldn't be a, a consideration of divorce. It should be the whole marriage falls apart. Says the Gemara, listen to any kedushas, the lemas, and we'll say hocha ba'adam chashvas kin. When is it any kedushas where it's a chash eminent family and she wants to stay married to somebody in that family? The Amra she can say la nicheli the itzah bekreva. I don't want to be usher with his relatives. Just like he's picky and he wants Dafka to marry a woman from that family, she's picky and she wants to marry Dafka and then a guy. Says so a, a, a girl is less picky than a guy. Why is that? She doesn't necessarily have to marry the most chashva guy in town. She's happy to marry even people who are not so chashva. And therefore, it's not such a big deal. And he's much, much more picky than her and he only wants to marry the, the creme de la creme and therefore he's going to make a big issue out of that. How do I know that? Like Ishlaki said, we had a number of times. Um, remember again, you have to in context where you know women generally didn't really earn money, and they, it's that, not just getting married; it's a question of being provided for and have a roof over their heads and food and so on. Amrish <clears> Lakish, <throat> times they are different, as we learned. Abuna said before as well that a woman can say, "I don't need any of your help; I can take care of myself." The Amrish Lakish says, "Tavla mace of tandu." She'd rather sit together with someone else as a pair of two. Mid lace of Allah is staying alone, so I'm prepared to compromise as long as, long as I have a husband. I buy you now, and, and the next few people say how far the compromise goes, but it's not because so, they have someone to provide for her, not because they love the guy, and as a result, as you'll see. Abaya Abaya says, the Shum Shona Gabra, the Gabra can be uh, so tiny, so small. Yet he puts a chair, she'll put a chair amongst all the, 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 the nobles and everything yet because she, she says, I'm equal to you. She feels a bolster of confidence that she has someone to take care of her. Even though the guy, you know, is sort of nothing. Papa Amar, the Nafsa Gavra, even if the person has a, a trade, a lowly trade, let's say cleaning out uh, wool, and it's, a, it's, it's actually a despised trade. Nevertheless, Tikaria Visefa Baba, she will call him out every time she sits on the balcony or on the porch. She calls him out to sit next to her, but takes to sit next to me, she'll she can show up. I am taken care of, even though this person is not someone that, you know, she really loves it. Ravashi Amar, Ravashi says, um, the Kausa Gavra, that let's say, uh, even a family, Kausa family that is, um, is known, notorious, infamous family. Nevertheless, Gavra Laboy, Tlafal Kidra, all she wants really is, um, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Lentils, is, is just some food to eat, and uh, doesn't even ask for that. Doesn't need doesn't need food. All she wants is to his uh, his um, his marriage. But however, so in other words, so with Tony we learned the Kula Mizanas with Taylor But all of these people, 
when it comes to uh, actually uh, having a relationship, they have somebody on the side. What are these men for to provide for them? In other words, the main purpose of marriage then is to have a roof on the head and food on the table. And therefore, they're not so picky. And when it comes to the love side of things, they find somebody else that they can love. And that person, for whatever reason, is not going to take care of them. They can't afford it or whatever. So they, they, that's how it is. So therefore, women were much less picky than men were. So she's not going to come with that argument. Oh, I don't want to get because um, I can't marry the brother because she's happy to marry this guy. She wants to stay married. So even if this guy, you know, has the durham on him, so it's not a perfect marriage, so things can go wrong sometimes, she's willing to put up with it. But he is not willing to put up with her because he's much more picky. And, uh, and therefore he doesn't want to get, because he, he wants an option to marry her sister. Okay, we'll stop over here and clean tomorrow. Same time.